like you, first of all, hello, God bless you. Happy St. Nicholas Day, which we celebrated yesterday. And uh, may his leadership and his blessing and his intercession be with us. Uh, like you, I've done many jobs in my life and I had a, I had a job one time where uh, I was a security guard, security guard. I sat at a desk and buzzed people in. That's security guard. Anyway, I was in this place. This was when I was going to school in uh, Brookline, Massachusetts. And there's this fellow and uh, he comes up to me and he says, I'm so-and-so, my name is Mohammed. Uh, I'm from the Muslim Propagation Society. I said, well, I've never heard of that, but he said, would you like to learn more about Islam? I said, oh, uh, okay. <laughs> I said, look, I can tell you I'm comfortable. Let me give you a Quran. I said, oh, I can add that to my collection of books, which, you know, like many people, I collected books. So I've got this beautiful copy of the Quran. And he said, you're, what's your background? And I said, well, I'm, a, I'm an Orthodox Christian. He said, oh, hmm, have you read the Bible? And I said, well, yes, I've read the Bible. He said, have you read in Deuteronomy chapter 18, verse 18? I said, um, it doesn't ring a bell. And he goes, uh, let me, let me, let me read it to you. So, from verse 15. Then the Lord your God will raise up for you a prophet like me from your brethren. Him you shall bear according to all you asked from the Lord your God and Horeb in the day of the assembly, saying, Let us not hear again the voice of the Lord our God, nor let us see the great fire any more, lest we die. On and on and on. But then the Lord said to me, what they have spoken is good. Here it is. I will raise up for them a prophet like you from among their brethren, and I will put my word in his mouth, and he shall speak to them all I command him. So he said, that prophet is Muhammad. I said, oh, goodness sake. I'll tell you what, let's get back together. Then an idea popped into my mind. I know, it's a shameless, it's a shameless prop. And I looked around and I read commentaries and I asked friends and I asked around, I said, is it possible that that passage from Deuteronomy has to do with Muhammad? Or might it, might it have to do with the word of God who became flesh and that God would put his word into this person? And that person would live among us and he would be the word of God and he would be the person of God and he would change the way we think and the whole nature of our world. Or is that all false? Is it, is it Jesus who is the prophet or Muhammad who is the prophet? They can't both be the prophet. And so my friend who ended up working with me over at that place said, what did you think? I said, I think I respect your intention but I disagree with your conclusion. How is it possible that God would skip over all of the prophets after Moses, because this is Moses at the time of Moses and Deuteronomy and the Torah, that God would skip over all of the great prophets and skip over his son. Oh, we believe in Jesus, he said. I said, you believe in Jesus, but you don't believe in Jesus the way we do. We believe that Jesus is the son of God, not just the prophet, not just a good teacher, not just a good man, but is the Son of God, is the Word made flesh. And I said, so when we look at Deuteronomy 18.18, 18, we see its fulfillment in the true prophet. So as we're discussing the prophets, the law and the prophets, we need to make, we need to discern between what is true and what is false. And um, the Lord said, You'll, there will be many false prophets it would be fair for us to say that when we think of Muhammad and Islam and, and the religion that, bear, that comes from it, 
that it's really based upon a kind of falsehood, not a kind of falsehood, but a falsehood, something that simply is not true. They may practice well, they may do good things, but their fundamental premise is based upon false prophecy and a false prophet. Therefore, when we continue, we're going to continue by looking at true prophets. God bless you and stay well.